first off, we have assortment of different weapons. Very beautiful weapons, very nice, new, old, and then different. We're going to start out first with safety. Guns, if you treat them, that they're always loaded and they're always ready to fire, you won't get into problems as if you don't. You never point one at anything unless you're going to shoot whatever you're aiming at or pointing at. First, we'll start out with the pistols. Here we have a 22 single six. It's a pistol was designed in the 1800s by Colt. It has a cylinder with six shells in it. You have to cock it in order to shoot it. You can't pull the trigger like a lot of modern ones and shoot it. You have to cock it to shoot it. It's a very old style pistol. Then next we have a Glock. This is a recoiled operated so every time you pull the trigger and fire around the force of the recoil pushes the slide back a spring pushes it forward it loads your next round this is a 45 automatic it's a very powerful handgun then we go into the rifle we have a 22 rifle. This is a Rossi. It's an old, old style. It was developed in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. It's what you call a uh, pump. Because you pump it, you load it, then you fire it. And then you cannot fire it again until you pump it and load it again. But it has a magazine here. You pull this magazine up or take it out and you put your cells in this little spot right there. And when you get it up, the shells up to there, how many ever that is, that's your maximum load of shells. And like I say, that's just a 22 long rifle. Just a 22 long rifle? The bullet travels at 1,250 feet a second, leaving the barrel. Of course, the further out you get, the slower it goes because of the wind resistance. That's the same with all guns. Then we have an old timer here, a 30 6 Springfield that was developed for the Army in 1903. This was used in the Spanish-American War, First World War, Second World War, through the middle. And then they came up with the uh, uh, M1 Grand, which is a gas operated. This is a bolt operated, pull it back, load a shell. This magazine holds five rounds and a very powerful, really, the 30 6 was one of the first true magnums. Shoots 3,100 feet a second at the barrel, pretty fast. But uh, every time you shot, you had to load. That slows a man down in, action, in, uh, in uh, combat. So they came up with the more modern ones, the gas operated ones. Now, this is a gas operated. This is a little Ruger Mini 14. Of course, Army doesn't use them with fancy scopes and all that. But up here, there's a hole in the bottom of the barrel. And as that slug passes this point, it allows the gas to come down in to the cylinder and it drives it back. Throws the empty out and the new one goes in. 
just that simple. Bullet goes on out, you load it again, and this is what they're calling an assault rifle. Well, it's a very popular rifle for shooting. It's a uh, mini fort, Ruger Mini 14. It shoots a 223 round, which is the one the military uses today. And the reason the military went from this, well, I should say from this to this, you can carry twice as much ammo of this as you can that because of weight. Just little facts. And these are just like all weapons. It doesn't make any difference. It's this, 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 this. They're all as safe as the idiot handling them. Simple. Now here we have a shotgun, is all I call it. It's a 12 gauge shotgun. It's got the pistol grip. It's against the law to use these to hunt with because of the short barrel. Because uh, with birdshot, the shot spreads too fast. So with a short barrel, it's not good for hunting game because of the short barrel. And of course, birdshot is real fine. You got actually, I don't know, two is your biggest, four, six, eight, ten, and the smaller, the bigger the number, the smaller the shot. And you have what they call buckshot. Double lot buck is the same size as a 30 caliber, and there's nine slugs in a round of 12 gauge shotgun. Well, that's what the guns are. Now, like I say, safety is a main thing. You don't point a weapon at anything you're not going to shoot at. And when we're out here like this and we're going to shoot, there's only going to be one person shooting at one time because there's four of us. And I might get excited and run out in front of somebody and hurt him. Okay, here's an example. We have some people over here. This is safety. See the people over there on the ridge? Up high on the top of the ridge. That means that we cannot shoot in that direction. See the person setting up on the sand there? So we've got to be aware of where we're shooting because it's our responsibility as a shooter to know what's beyond us, to know what's out there so that we will not hurt another human being. See, there's three people out there now. That's good, we know they're there. Okay, we're going to get in to how to load and handle these. First, we have the old style, and it's got a gate, and that's what they call it, the gate. You have to open the gate, you have to put it on half cock so that the cylinder will turn. Then you take your 22 rounds, and you put one at a time in there, then you turn the cylinder. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Then you put another one in, you turn the cylinder. And it's six shots. Okay, that was six of them, see? Got six rounds in there. You close the gate, because if you don't close the gate, and you tip it up, it falls out. So that presents a problem. So you close the gate, then you point it away, because that's not safety. Draw it back, pull the trigger, and you put it to, or to safety. See? It's supposed to be safety. You can't pull the trigger. 
but what? It's loaded. It's ready to fire, but I have to cock it to pull the trigger. But safeties aren't always safe, so we put this one away. Put it in its holster, lay it up there. Now we're going to the other pistol. And now this is a 45, and this is a mean mama. Now I gotta find some 45 rounds, and my fine man here, Tommy, he's gonna get me out. Oh, get me out four or five rounds. See, those are what they call dum dums square, flat. They raise all kinds of ruckus. You have to push it down and push it back. Push it down and push it back. Push it down, push it back. How many is that, Tommy? That's, uh, that'll be four there. Four. Boy, I must be getting weak. <laughs> it's got a pretty good spring on it. Yeah, it's <laughs> new. It's got a spring. Okay, the magazine, or the clip, as they call them, is loaded. But it's not in the gun. And that's all right. Because... When we put this baby in the gun, even though I haven't put a round in the chamber, it is loaded. And as far as I'm concerned, it's dangerous. It's loaded. Empty guns are what kills people. So now we're going to lay this one down. And now what we'll go to, we go to, uh, we'll go to the 22. They're right here. You can dump five out like that. 22, 22, okay. Now I said this had the magazine. The old cylinder. These are, I always liked this weapon because it was so, I just thought a neat one. My grandfather had one like it. And I used to hunt with it when I was eight, 12 years old. Just put them in there and let them fall. Isn't that cute? They just fall right down in there and hide away. Well, five is enough for right now because we're just learning how this works. Where is it? Oh, there it is. You push that little pin, push it down there, and turn up the lock. Okay. Are these guns available like this right now? Even today, you could buy a gun like this? Yes, if you find it. This is, this is what they call a Rossi. It's made by the Rossi Company in Brazil, and it's made exactly like uh, a Winchester used to make this very gun. Identical. Look, styles, everything. And now, it doesn't have one in the barrel or in the chamber, but it's loaded. It's a dangerous weapon. Of course, like I say, they're always dangerous, even when they're empty, because an empty gun is always the one you have the mishap with. Now, <clears throat> we'll go to the old blunderbuss here. The old 30 out 6 bolt action. They call this a bolt, because it's a bolt that slides. Yeah, just take those out and take them out of that clip. Just rip them out anyway. And this one, you put a shell down here, and you push it down, just like that. See that? Push it down in there. Oh, Donald, push it. Yeah, well, see, I had it too far forward. Give me one more of these. See, now that holds five rounds, and I don't want one in the chamber, so I'm going to push that down. See, push the clip down so I can slide the bolt over the top, so I don't put one in the chamber. Still a dangerous weapon right now. That's right, very dangerous. This thing will shoot 600 yards accurately. I know, I've shot them that far and hit the target. Now, you got some shotgun shells? 
a shotgun is uh, is a Mossberg. I have one just like it. But uh, this is made all fancy for stuff, and it's a pump action. See that? Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah, okay, this is the bottom load. See, just stick it in there. Take your thumb and push it up there. That's three, four, we know five. What we got here? Number two, Bert? Okay, five should be all you carry. And uh, five rounds in a shotgun is illegal in hot weather. Two is all you're supposed to be able to put in the magazine to hunt ducks or game of any kind. And they make a little wooden peg that you fit in there that won't allow you to put more than two up there. But still, you put two you put one in the chamber, you stick another one, you got three shots. But I mean, now you're talking about real danger because you're packing a weapon that has a round in the chamber and that is dangerous. Okay, now we're going to the Ruger Mini 14, which is fed by a clip. And these clips hold five rounds a piece I have two of them today. Uh, they make 20 and 30 round clips for high capacity. Okay, this one has the clip that fits in there. And you just stick it in there, clip it in. And to eject the clip, you push that and it comes right back out. See that? Now, we do not have one in the chamber, but we have five rounds in the clip. It's loaded. Dangerous. Now we will get ready to do firing. Live fire. We're going to start with a single six first. 22. And until you get ready to shoot, don't put your finger in there. You're going to take it and you're going to get what you shoot at and get fairly on it. Then you're going to take a big breath of air, inhale and hold it and then shoot, then let it out. That way you're not <gasps> and shaking all over. But that's how you do with all weapons. Hold your breath while you shoot and you don't jerk the trigger. You put pressure on it and an even pressure until it goes off. And it's got a hair trigger. Okay. Well, that was the one I was shooting at. Ooh, one side, then the other. Okay, one. did you hear that? That one ricochets. That's what we don't want. Now I got to put it on half cock, eject my shells. center of that thing with the center of that right in the center. There you go. Getting better. I'm having to aim a little lower on this one. Yeah. There, good one. Okay. You should have
should have six. I may have been shot. I think this is number six. Ooh, Ooh high. Way high. Whoa. Real yeah, high. It's going Good high, line. Dude. But real high. Good. You nailed it. I'm going to try that one on the second the, the to the short right. One? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the well, you know what? Let me aim for that jug of sand right there. You're a little to the right there. Okay, pull the hammer back. You can't shoot this without cocking it. There shoot you too go. high. A little low. to the left too. There you go. There you go. Oh. You're a good job, son. Good. Got it. I like this one. It's a <laughs> oh yeah, Fuck it's it. an active little dude. Got it. Got it. Is that in there? Yeah, I think so. Got it. Boy, you did pretty good. Got a sling. Let's make use of it. To make ourselves more scarce, you put your arm in like this, bring it around and wrap it. See how it slings? You can make yourself snug with it. Well, you pull this back, put around in the chamber, it's ready to go. The safety is right here. That's safety, that's off. Soft safety, ready to go. Where did my target go? Moved. Good shot. Low. Good. You're hitting whatever you're shooting at, son. Good. You made it kick up.
<laughs> Bold action. 30 six, 1903 Springfield. Loaded, ready to fire. I forgot to mention something about this one. Peep sight. Got a hole here and a blade up here. The blade is to be in the center of the hole, right in the middle, and that's your sight. Shot one round, it's empty. Another round. Hold that shit in your shoulder. Let's see if I push. I'll catch you. We'll push it down and then down. Watch. Well, something flew. That was a good one. That took a lot of kicks. Yeah. You're shooting good. See how that shot. Red and all the way up.